Our next question asks that we solve for x rounded to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. In this case, x is a side length, and we see right away that we're unable to set up the sine law because we have a side angle side situation. And what I mean by that is, uh, in order to set up the sine law, we need to know both the um, we need to know both the side length and the angle side size for at least one pair and um, in this case we don't. Capital G is an unknown side excuse me, capital G is an unknown angle magnitude side G is a known side length. Capital H is a known angle magnitude but an unknown side length. Capital I is an unknown angle magnitude and an, and a known side length and so we see right away we can't set up the sine law because we don't have a full set in other words we don't know for any particular letter either G H or I we don't know both the angle magnitude and the side length so we're stuck using another formula which is called the cosine law so we come over here to our trusty formula sheet when looking for uh, a side length using the cosine law this is the formula which is helpful. c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. Well in this case we realize that we're not looking for side c as in the formula, we're looking for side h. So we need to be able to um, substitute in different letters. So we're looking for little letter h. So I come over here and I say I'm looking for little letter H, so I have to sub an H in for this C. I also have to sub a capital H in for this C. And then all of the other letters in the formula, all the other variables are A's and B's, and I'm going to substitute those with G's and I's. So in a sense, I'm going to let C be an, uh, the, the C in the formula, I'm going to let it be a letter H. Everywhere I see an A, I'm going to substitute in a G, and everywhere I see a B, I'm going to substitute in an I. This skill is something that all good mathematicians have. So coming over to our formula, or excuse me, coming over to our question, I can write H squared equals G squared plus I squared minus 2GI cos H. Well, that means h squared equals 19 squared plus 14 squared minus 2 times 19 times 14 times the cosine of 111 degrees. Well, the cosine of 111 degrees is approximately equal to negative 0.3584. At this point, sometimes people think that they've done something wrong because they have a negative sign right there. There's nothing to worry about, though, because every time you take the cosine of an angle greater than 90 degrees, this is going to become a negative number. Notice we're multiplying it by a number that we're subtracting, so we're going to end up adding at this last term is going to be an added term because we're subtracting a negative number. So 19 squared is 361, 14 squared is 196, and then we add 532 times 0.3584, which is 190.7. So every time we have a negative sign in here, we're going to be adding at this last step. If I had a positive sign in here, I would be subtracting in this last step. So I get that h squared is approximately equal to 747.7, which means that h is approximately equal to the square root of 747.7, which is approximately 27.3 degrees. So I can write that x, which is the quantity we were seeking, is approximately 27.3 centimeters. x is approximately 27.3 centimeters. I, I might have said degrees earlier, I misspoke. Okay, now the next question, we're going to solve for x rounded to the nearest tenth of a degree. And notice here, this is called side, side, side. We know all three sides. Well, when we know all three sides and we don't know any angles, we clearly cannot set up the sine law. So we must use the cosine law. Well, there's another version of the cosine law which we can use when we're looking for an angle, and it's right here. K 
capital C is cos inverse of quantity a squared plus b squared minus c squared all over 2ab. Well, coming over here, I realize that I don't have a's, b's, and c's constituting this triangle. I have a p, an m, and an n. So, I can write that capital P is equal to cos inverse time of m squared plus n squared minus p squared all over 2mn. I don't have to worry about this line for this question. So I can write that again capital P is the cosine inverse of m squared plus n squared minus p squared all over 2mn which is the cosine inverse of 12 squared plus 13 squared minus 14 squared all over 2 times 12 times 13 which is the cosine inverse of 144 plus 169 minus 196 all over 312. This value in the bracket is equal to 0.375. The cosine inverse of 0.375 is approximately 68.0 degrees. Since that's the value that I was looking for, I can say that x is approximately equal to 68.0 degrees.